Okay, I'm going to start the simple pickling barter farm and I'll get onto the automatic one. Okay, that's the base of it, essentially. Then I'll see. You're gonna want to get big ones. So this is the most uh, simple one to put together. You go in here. Um, Pick them will despawn, so you're gonna have to give them armor, so. They're still going. They're still, they're still going. Yeah. They will give you a lot. Anyway, you know, onto the auto farm. So, to automate this, is, um, yeah, this is 30 pigmen. They will drop a lot. They will drop a lot. Start the farm up. They will drop a lot of items. So obviously, we're gonna need something like, to handle heavy numbers. So, a bunch of mine carts. Circle, rails, and all go back. These will grab anything they can. They will go through any power filter, the final obsidian filter, obsidian, fire charges, map cream, quartz, rollstone, iron nuggets, string, a brick, gravel, soul sand, and leather. Those are easy to filter out. A lot of filters do need to be big to fully capture thing and still things will get through. These are ten for each of these filters. But then Piglin also drop their white holes, fire potions, iron boots, and enchantment books or soul speed. The iron boots and fire potions you can filter out. The holes and enchantment books, I do not believe there's currently a way to filter these out properly so they're mixed in. Yeah, you can see here, still, it should be mostly just the uh, single stackable items, but yeah, you see, still stuff like a walking string, that's probably like 24 
more string than food after the at time. Still, it picks a lot up. It does, it does turn itself on the way Because if this was constantly keep giving them gold, it will build up with items. It's, not, it's still not hard to keep up, so it has a First filter, it's at the end. Just take anything out. Take anything out, it'll take out single stack items into this chest and then send it back up, be picked back up and go back around the filter. Single stack items, go down here. Stuff to do occasionally get to. That is an issue. And of course it does it when I'm recording. That did not happen. Yeah. Let's detect this. if it's a, a single stack item, we check for three holes and let it go down. If not, it goes down up a couple ticks anyway. Go down into this chest here. Okay. One single stack button here. So occasionally five items do get through here. As you can see the cell sand. So we do I do have a little filter set up around two is the two. This one takes more of the load, the other one's the second part of this system. But yeah, I saw it down to try to filter anything out I can. And I take it over to the first filter, which is the green stand, which will take the splash and the my potion that I need to splash out my bottom or five distance at the same time. So so it checks if it can go in here, if not, it'll send it, send it way down the it can. It'll go into the sort of system, sort of system go into the chest. If it doesn't, it's sort of down here where it's both parts join. And then I then move it to the set filter. Iron boots out. So we've got Drown the Trident and Villager. So Drown the Trident will try to throw it at the Villager. Well, when he gets sight. So, yeah, that's going. Spencer will dispense it onto Armor Stand. Trident will Drown will throw the Trident, it breaks Armor Stand. And then it replaces it. Will. If any other item, it'll be dropped into this hopper. But the arm stand and iron boots are uh, taken down into these hoppers underneath, filled into here, where this will go back to the storage system. Now, anything else, which will be the enchantment books or the never like, holes, will come out into here and will be taken up into the main part of the storage system. Farm inside this lever and this one allows it to repeat. It does. So I'll see, it's gonna start one again. When it starts, it just deserves up. And it starts the basic part. Meanwhile, timer. Just speed this up a bit. As soon as that hits 64, it will farm and enable this clock. Two stacks and a half. And that essentially lets this all catch up and be looking now. Fill up too much, so this sent this was just them all empty out, getting filtered, all that, everything sorted. But once this clock finishes, in 30, I don't want to speed this one. Oh, 
I'm back on. We'll also restart this crop. here in the middle I'm just trying my sorting system room make sure everything's loaded and it'll, it'll just run or just keep going and if the ones are gold I got gold make sure here there's a gold level meter one's out here Low, and it will turn the repeating off and turn it off as well. It's low and gold. So I want one if it gets low and gold, and then things will stop. Will stop. video was planned, I think, two weeks ago, and except for the last few days, I, it, this was mostly what I've been working on. was very pigment and how not to have too many items. Five stacks for it, for that clock, and then like 32. I be miscounted a lot. Like when I originally started this, none of this was somewhere here on the white. None of it was here on the white. The filters was on it built, but yeah. And the hopper tiles was this big, which be a big gap. We roughly double the gap between these hoppers and cuts. Yeah, I've made it to more than packs, so we can take the white out faster. Yeah, the farm has probably been running for a couple of hours now. Yeah, it's got a lot, got a lot of stuff. Well, obsidian, the most painful things to mine. And we've got a bunch of it. Well, doing anything other than just AFK. So, mostly it was running, I was working. So, yeah. I think you can have one when you're building it as well. Just the final filters, you can just need to have gold to the chest before you build them. And you got the iron nuggets, you the iron. Well, so, you turn gold and iron. Okay. Donating a lot of things. You've got string, nether bricks, gravel, soul sand any weathers you want to do, whatever, and then you've got the, probably the best thing, show speed, never white holes, you, you, need, you need these, never white holes, see, you know, that's probably when I broke sneak earlier, <laughs> yeah, occasionally some things do appear to sneak in, I observed it where in the field it would happen. I think it's when there's a big bunch of certain items. For example, this is all random. A lot of it is random. What the pigs drop. There's 30 of them. Then if you go into like rates, they use for the new table. It's a lot. For example, a lot of them might drop string at once. There's a very small chance all 30 will drop string. And then I mean a lower chance of all of them dropping the map on that string they can drop. So it could overwhelm the system very easily. Hard to keep track of the events. You also got iron boots. That's this is uh, this is from the filter. You don't understand the filter. filter. Okay, then you need to refill. But it's got a lot of stuff. Got stuff on it. It occasionally glitches out. Essentially, it glitches out because it's part way in a hopper. Sometimes it 
just get squished out it towards the hopper and then you go out it. And then you got to find your fire potion. Which this Okay, that's all fire potions. I didn't even realise that's filled up so fast. Okay, if you do build yourself, you probably only need two rose chests for these two. And probably the uh, other three sets of fire potions. Two sets of fire potions and one more diamond boots. Still a lot of iron boots. Okay, we're in IFL 101. And it's been a fun project to work on. I've done something this big for ages. Anyway, see you next time. Bye!